Hey guys, the quail are now three weeks old and they are doing absolutely fantastic. You can see how big they're getting. They're growing so fast. They almost look completely like adults except for their heads are not quite feathered all the way. But do you remember how I said at three weeks we can start to tell or pretty much tell which ones are boys and which ones are girls? I wanted to take a second to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to be looking at the feathers on their chest. First off, I need to try to scare a few out so that we can get a better look or pick something up. Okay, this is a perfect example. She is a girl and she has all speckled feathers on her chest, so that's how we know she's a girl. Now, the one right here who is trying to crawl back there is a boy. I can tell because he's got rusty feathers on his chest. If he would turn around so we could see him, that would be fantastic. Where to go? That one's a girl. All the speckled feathers. That one, oh, you see the rusty feathers? He's starting to peek. Do you see that? He's still not giving me a great view. There, there, there's rusty feathers. Do you see that on the chest? And that's how we know that that one would be a boy. Now it seems like in this batch of birds, I have more girls than boys, which is always what I want because I'm mostly into quail so that I can have eggs. And when I have more girls, I get more eggs. You can't keep as many boys because they end up beating up on each other or the girls. So you have to have only a few boys with lots of girls. So that's the update. Hope you are enjoying. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys all have a fantastic summer. And please let me know if you have questions because I'm always happy to talk about it. I still want to show you. I still would like to show you one better picture of a boy, and that's this one right here. Check out those rusty feathers. Now you can see what I'm talking about. No speckles right on his chest, just rusty feathers. So thanks for watching, guys.